I'm here with head coach Kyle Desitel, student athlete Matteo Bargagna, and student athlete Liam Gherkin after their 2 1 win over Rochester University in the 2023 2024 Men's Division III soccer tournament. Coach, give me your initial thoughts. Yeah, uh, we're thrilled to be moving on. Uh, making the Sweet 16 is not easy. Uh, you're, you're in this tournament playing against the best teams in the country. and. Uh, Rochester, massive credit to them. They gave us everything we could handle and, and um, you know, really came after us in the second half. And our guys dug in. Uh, you know, we, we, we had some chances uh, early in the second half that we looked back on and kind of wish we had taken because I, I think, you know, if you make the game 3-0, it's, it's a different game. But um, there's a lot to be said about having to dig in and fight out a result as well. But massive credit to our guys. We're thrilled to be moving on. Um, and a great season to Rochester. Really great team really well coached Chris Apple does an amazing job there every year and um, yeah really happy to be moving on with, with these guys and, and um, I think they I think they like hanging out with me enough so we get we get another week together all of us yeah uh, Mateo so that's two assists today three now on the weekend I mean I was telling Max on the broadcast it kind of seems like Ian Daly had come back is that something you take inspiration from watching him play last year oh for sure Daly was he was our leader he's someone to definitely take stuff off of um, All-American, you know, I'm always looking up to him and trying to be like him, but my own version, you know, yeah. trying to throw in some flair now and then. Mateo's version is pretty good, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're going to mean a great goal, but it seemed, it seemed every 50-50 ball today, you were winning in the midfield. Was there something just extra motivating you today? I just love headering the ball, to be honest. It's my favorite thing to do. I love a good 50-50. Um, on our team, we talk a lot about, you know, going in, being a little, a little bit blue collar, and that's what I try to model my play off of. Yeah, I mean, all right. So you guys know, obviously, it'll be Washington Lee in the next round. What's the kind of mentality, knowing it's them, and you don't get the chance at maybe the revenge game against Sunni Onana? Yeah, I mean, I don't, to be fair, we'll watch a bunch of film. Um, I'm gonna not watch any tonight because we're gonna enjoy this for a day. But then I'm sure tomorrow we're gonna. Our staff will dig in and probably you know, watch a bunch. Um, but Washington Lee, uh, great program. Um, you know, we're out of these out of region teams, we don't pay a ton of attention to them. So I think it's fun when you get these games though, because you, you you see the results and you see you know who who are the top teams around the country. But we, we don't often in in our world get to play them unless it's a you know a late NCAA tournament round. So um, we'll put our we'll put our work in. We'll be prepared. Um, but we know we'll have our hands full with one of the best teams in the country. So, Coach, I said yesterday when we asked you if you had a message for German Nation, you asked for if a bunch of football guys would show up. Today, a bunch of football guys showed up on the sideline. How much of an inspiration was it having the community behind you guys? Yeah, it was awesome. These guys should answer that. You know, they're, they're kid, the students come out for them. I don't think they're coming to see me. <laughs> you can feel it on the field. They're, everybody was supporting us, and you just want to make that extra sprint, want to make that extra tackle for the people on the sideline. Yeah, it's, it's good to see your friends on the sidelines. I feel like it gets you going, makes you a bit more creative, uh, makes you want to take on the guy 1v1 every time even more. So it's great to have them out. We appreciate the support. Coach, big day for the Jumbos. Women beat TCNJ yeah. today. Uh, is that just pride of being a Jumbo? Yeah, it's really cool. Um, I mean, they were a bit surprised to get into the NCAA tournament. And um, you know playing in the NESCAC men's women's soccer, like you're, you're in – arguably the best league in the country. And so if you can get into the NCAA tournament, you have every chance. Um, but Martha is a great friend of mine and their, their players I know are, are friends with our players and um, they, work, they work equally as hard as we do. So yeah, I mean, it's really cool um, you know, to have both of our soccer programs that, that definitely support each other headed to the Sweet 16. It's an amazing accomplishment. Great win, guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks.